Crypto is on its way to the moon. And if you have not yet seen what it is that I have been sharing with you, there isn't much action happening here in the crypto space right now. There's only political stuff that is busy going on. So you can see here that I said there is not much longer left to go. If you guys watch that video, crypto is getting ready to explode. And if you want to become a millionaire in Bitcoin and other crypto assets, this cycle with candles that are godlike that go to heaven and you need to know when to exit with this massive opportunity to become a mega millionaire with Casper, Jas, Jasmi, um, Altcoin, Solana, and Bitcoin and Ethereum. Sure, you need to stay tuned right to the very end of this video. As you can see, my channel is giving you absolute powerful alpha and I'm feeling bullish and I don't know how it is that you're feeling, but I would love to know down in the comments below. So thank you for being here with me on the Crypto Bliss channel and my beautiful X page, you know where to find me. So I will leave those links down in the pinned in the comments below for you. There's a lot of news to get through in this video and I have another video coming out for you later and for tomorrow. And you need to be tuned in for my Monday live session. Look guys, last week's Monday live session was horrific. My internet was shocking. So I should actually delete that one because that wasn't even anything. And I'm sorry I made you actually watch that. But nonetheless, let's move on to today's news because big banks rush to test ECB's wholesale distributed ledger. Now, the European Central Bank's DLT tests include major, major financial institutions. These are some of them that are busy going through the tests in the ECB's wholesale distributed ledger test. Wonder why they're going through that? Well, they still need a place to find their fear. Uh, and just, you know, it's freezing out here in Joburg today, hence me dressed up like an Eskimo. You guys know that I, I don't dress up like Eskimos normally, but it's pretty chilly here today in Johannesburg. So one of the most important things that I have ever seen out in the crypto space, Bernstein expects Bitcoin to hit 200K by 2025 and 1 million by 2033. Now, some others expect that to happen a little bit earlier. I'm in the camp that that's probably going to happen a little earlier. However, in understanding how crypto has unfolded, but in understanding what's busy happening, I would like to say that it would be better to look for some sort of happy balance and medium in between all of that. So while bears argue that the ETF Bitcoin trade is done and most of the early Bitcoin ETF allocations were driven by retail investors and the analyst admits this is true, Bears are missing that Bitcoin ETFs are on the cusp of approvals at major wirehouses and large private bank platforms in Q3 or Q4, and that the institutional basis trades look like the Trojan horse. For adoption, and these investors are in the process of evaluating net long positions, the analyst contends. The firm is expecting Bitcoin to rise to a cycle high of about 200,000 by 2025, 500,000 by 2029, and 1 million by about 2033, according to Bernstein telling all of his particular investors. What do you think down in the comments below? I'd love to know what it is you think. Now, of course, you already know that you can hit my Bybit link down below. Come and trade with me, make up to $30,000 bonus. And my Bitflex link down below will get you up to $88,888 bonus. Now, with that being said, check this video from Andreas Anna Antonopoulos explaining Bitcoin at $100 to an empty room. It is Bitcoin neutrality. Bitcoin neutrality. What does Bitcoin neutrality mean? Neutrality in Bitcoin means being able to adopt Bitcoin in any culture, any language, any religion, any geography, but also any political or economic system. So Bitcoin neutrality is about making Bitcoin a standard that is independent of your desires and expectations. This isn't a libertarian currency any more than it's a communist currency. It's a currency, and it can be applied to any political system. 
whether it is the political system you like or not. It's a neutral currency. So what does neutrality mean? Neutrality doesn't mean no principles. Neutrality is a principle in itself. And in fact, what I'm here to talk to you about today is that neutrality is the most important principle in Bitcoin. And most of the other great things derive from that. If you want to really understand how neutrality will affect Bitcoin in the future, we need to look at what has happened with the internet and TCPIP in terms of neutrality. On the internet, anyone can publish with the same voice that Time Warner and CBS and ABC and CNN have. So neutrality is about being able to balance things so that it doesn't matter who the sender is or the recipient is, how big the transaction is, what type of transaction it is, whether it's buying gold, camels, or drugs. Neutrality means that the network will process your transaction and will charge you based on how big that transaction is in the blockchain. So if you look at that, Neutrality is exactly that. It is a way of currency and how it should be, where there is complete neutrality across the uh, trading spectrum of being able to take your money in and out of different regions, countries, zones, and all kinds of amazing places. Now, the US government charges Coinbase for operating as an unregistered securities exchange, but yet, also, the US government uses Coinbase to sell hundreds of millions of dollars in Bitcoin, about $241 million worth of Bitcoin on uh, Coinbase. So what on earth is going on? And that is exactly why the noise and Mr. Trump has come out and he has obliterated Joe. And we'll have a look at that later on in this video. But for now, you can see here, shout out to Sculping Pro, one of my favorite chartists on, on X. Half of the Bitcoin bull run is over. The next half is going to be absolutely epic. And he's right. Here's the first half, boom, to the, pretty much the previous all-time high. Okay, so bottom to there, previous all-time high. Then we have the next leg up. Here's the next leg up on this, on this one, because that was the all-time high at this point. So from here, it wasn't that much of a run, but we've already had quite a, an, an increased rally out here. And we could actually just absolutely and insanely punch through this level so i don't know about you but i'm extremely bullish on bitcoin and mr trump says that bitcoin to break 150k if trump wins uh, presidency and this is according to standard chartered trump presidency has not yet been priced in i think it's pretty obvious that trump is going to win this presidency keep it up trump and yeah no favoritism no separatism but obviously he's a businessman and he is the best candidate for running the country. And you will see why in a moment. But while you are scared, BlackRock is BlackRock just bought their first Bitcoin ETF for its own portfolio. What? What? Well, not only that, but ARK Invest, and previously on my channel, I actually showed you months and months and months and months ago about the potential of a Solana ETF. I think that was one video that I mentioned it in. And yeah, I believe I mentioned it in a number of videos quite a while ago. Yeah, ETF there, definitely there and on a number of others. So if you have not yet watched those videos, you need to go and watch my videos on my channel. There are serious cryptocurrencies in here that you want to get your hands on. So let's make it all great. Let's make it all fun. I did say to you that Solana and um, the meme coin still has a long, long, long legs to go in this market space today. And that's why I am extremely bullish on Solana. I believe we'll eventually get a, a you know, brrr, a spray of ETFs because Gary Gary Gensler is going to is currently being sued at the SEC for obviously slowing down and purposefully blocking the industry's growth and stifling its growth. 
Yeah, we are going to undoubtedly see that all ETFs, so Solana, Avalanche, uh, Chainlink probably, possibly Cardano, I, don't, I doubt BNB, but you know, this is very, very powerful because Solana is an ecosystem. Many institutions are holding Solana and that's why ARK Invest and 21, 21 shares have filed for one of them, as we know. So shout out to the Titan of crypto. Bitcoin bounce is absolutely imminent. We have bounce here with the stochastic RSI smashing the bottom. This was since the bottom. Same thing here, bottom RSI and bottom we have broken up. We are going to make our way up. The next move up is undoubtedly going to be 100K next. Now, since Bitcoin has smashed 60K when the interest rates were at zero, okay, and it smashed, 70k at 5% interest rates nothing on this planet is more powerful than the idea whose time an idea whose time has come bitcoin is that idea and i love this market goes up i'll wait for the dip market dips wow looks weak market goes up super simple that's just the cycle of bitcoin and as you have seen in my personal Bitcoin charts, that Bitcoin has only ever gone up, okay? Regardless of the pullbacks, the pullbacks are okay. We're allowed to have pullbacks in the market. Why would we not? Because those are the dips for buying. Now, non-zero Bitcoin addresses have increased since 2013 to more than 54.7% million addresses meaning that 54.7 million addresses have some bitcoin in it a few satoshis at the very minimum okay that is massive the adoption is unfolding tremendously so and in hindsight of course we will look back and it will be so obvious because on this um bitbo btc chart by trace mayer and crypto kia shout out to you guys you can see here that the green zone is oversold and the uh, the lighter green here is bearish and bullish extension overbought in price so currently the price you know at this level here it bounced off of the zone and then it went all the way up into the overbought zone guess what it bounced here and it didn't reach the over the overbought zone but it did reach the bullish extension we are currently busy bouncing on the bullish zone okay and getting ready to make our next move up minimum two hundred thousand dollars my personal target by end of october 2025 for bitcoin is three hundred thousand dollars what is your personal let me know down in the comments below unrealized bank losses i have been speaking to you about bank losses on my channel for months and in fact more than a year already okay and the reason for bank failures is that in 2008, 2009, this was the global financial crisis. The losses there, today's losses are 7x bigger than that of the great financial crisis. And this great financial crisis, just by the way, was worse than 1929. Yet, we are here at the most phenomenal time to accumulate crypto. And we are going to see some absolutely exponential massive gains come up this is the banking sector losing and i'll tell you what the banks are losing to crypto and it's very very simple i did show you so so long ago that van Eck was filing for the solana and even though this only was filed recently the actual announcement that they were intending on filing for a solana etf was on their website more than a year ago already so i don't know about you but in big industry sees far into the future and that's how they trade today because they'll buy as much as they can today and sell it to you later at a much higher price meaning you're buying it. and regardless of what happens in the cycle yes we have big ass dips however remember that these corrections 40 percent 26 40 percent 35, 33, 40, 40, 28, 
massive probably 50 60 percent correction there this was all the way up through the bull cycle through 2016 to 2017 which i have always said to you that i believe that this cycle will be a combination of 2013 and 2017 bull cycles because we are going to see something that we have not ever seen before the previous bull cycle was undoubtedly manipulated by the perpetual ET bitcoin etfs and that's just what it is that's how the market is that's how they play they've been trying to suppress it for as long as they could get a spot etf so that they could buy the physical spot because even blackrock knows that they need the physical spot to be able to sell it back to you at a much higher price in the future so i don't know about you but if you have not accumulated enough bitcoin yet then use my links down below go and get yourself some bitcoin on spot don't trade it okay unless you're a trader an experienced trader go get yourself some spot bitcoin i've been talking about spot bitcoin here for the last four and a half years which takes us back to around this area right here. So you would still be in profit with me if you traded with me, okay? And if you've been a part of my community. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. That would be truly appreciated, you bless it. So now, so many people said, what if we believe that we're right here? Right here at the momentum building where the trend is emerging, you're getting shaked out by some sort of bear trap at the moment. This could be that extension that we could be currently feeling right now. It is a shakeout. It is what it is. I believe that we are literally around this area and that we still have this entire move up here to make, which means that we will get further down falls in the market, like I've just shown you. And this is why I would say to you, that this is very important for us to realize because BlackRock isn't selling any of its ETFs. Some of the others, some of the other ETF foundations may be, but BlackRock is buying Bitcoin for three of its funds. Strategic Global Bond Fund, Strategic Income Opportunities Portfolio, Global Allocation Fund. BlackRock are buying all Bitcoin right now. Now, something I just have to share with you. I, I don't want to really obliterate this dude more than he has. I mean, he, it's it's time. He should he should end his career as of immediately step down and just finish the job right now. But unfortunately, that's not what's going to happen because this is an actual political game. And that's just all it is. So folks, how are you? Making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person uh, eligible for what I've been able to do with the uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with. Uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare, we finally we finally providing housing for Black Americans. The impact of on the the choice, the idea that they're gonna. I'm not. I've been proposing that. Everybody, they pay, the millionaires pay 1%, 1%. So no one after, I, I've not raised the cost of social security for anybody. I, mean, I got my handicap, which when I was vice president, down to us. I mean, you would, you, you would honestly just think that two old dudes are talking about golf handicap while chilling here this dude does not look like he can swing a golf club maybe putt putt okay because he's a stiff shit but damn you can see why he's smoking he can't even answer himself he's just literally embarrassed himself in front of the entire world okay and i don't know about you but he's just a puppet this is a puppet this man is a businessman and i don't know if he's controlled i can't say however i do want to say to you that even if he is controlled, he has a business mind, he has a business sense, he has operational skills. He's lost billions and made billions multiple times over and over in his life. And being here on CNN is just a gameplay. It is just a stage to go wild. It's, I mean, why would two very important men expose themselves on a show like this? They'd have to set up some of the craziest 
security and all kinds of things happening in here. Shit that you would only see in movies, guys. Let's continue to listen to the madness of this freaking debate. Six. And wants to get away with get rid of the ability of Medicare to uh, for the ability to for the us to be able to negotiate drug prices with the big pharma companies. Then I went on and do a six of Texas. For example. I don't know if any of you have caught on to a single thing he has actually been saying. Let me know if you did down in the comments below. Apple, we have a thousand trillionaires in America. I mean, billionaires in America. No one was hurt. No one Israeli was accidentally killed and it just stopped. And I'm going to continue to move until we get the total ban on the, 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 the total initiative relative to what we're going to do with more border patrol and more so that was trump's release of a brutal 95 second ad of joe biden's debate in his low lights i think that for me guys i'm even going to repost that because i do believe that that was hilarious uh now i want to go and watch one or two other videos here with you this is when you buy uh when you open your old coin portfolio and realize mount gox is about to dump bitcoin on the <laughs> i don't know about you but i know we feel like that but if you have any dry powder just continue to accumulate because even if you look at the total two and the total three market cap the total three market cap just is is has also only ever gone up okay in its entire life it has only ever gone up Okay, we're allowed to have pull downs in the longer perspective, but altcoins are just going to continue to go up. So yes, we've seen a bit of a dump here, but really if I had to zoom out here, we've got a massive, massive triangle pattern. And maybe I should just draw this here for you actually very quickly, because if we look at the pattern, you can see here from the bottoms, okay, look at that level, look at that level. So. Whether you like it or not, altcoin season is literally around the corner, okay? The altcoin season will start by minimum February 2026, 20, eh? No, that's a while. That's a long while away. But right now, we're busy tapping on the upper end here. So as long as we find some support on the ribbon, we're about to explode on the total crypto market cap. Let's go and see now one of the last videos that I want to share with you because Julian Assange um, is free now. Julian Assange has finally been released. In 2014, he called for Bitcoin to be the most exciting development on the internet. That is censorship money. Let's go and hear what he had to say. In the digital world, we can delete history extremely easily. And history, even without an attempt to delete, it starts disappearing uh, as a result of startup companies going under or particular bits of history not becoming profitable anymore. And that um, notion of being able to disappear history uh, entered into Orwell's writing. And you can look at what is, I think, his most substantive intellectual comment, which is he who controls the present controls the past, he who controls the past controls the future. And it's this notion that the past as an archive, as a history of our civilization, as a history of development, is in fact present right now in something physically contained in the library, in computer servers, in human beings' heads, that history doesn't exist except its remnants that exist in the present. And so if you can get at these remnants, you can make particular inconvenient parts of history uh, disappear and amplify others. I'm going to stop you for a minute. Anyway, because Bitcoin in its underlying technology breaks Orwell's dictum. It breaks Orwell's dictum by providing proof of publishing at a certain time. And that is the intellectual underpinning of that whole system and can be used for lots and lots of other things. And so that's the big expansion we're about to see uh, in Bitcoin, all derives from this basic premise that you can prove that a particular statement, a particular consensus, a particular contract happened at a particular time globally uh, and it requires a subversion of every single jurisdiction where people are running Bitcoin 
to overturn that. Yo! Most exciting development on the internet, censorship money. Now, with the fear and greed index being at the lowest it has been so on September of 2023. That is almost more than a year ago that we were at the slow. And I wonder what happened at that point. Well, the fear and greed index then rose all the way to hit back up to this crazy 83 um, all time high on the fear and on the greed side of things instead of being on the fear. So even if we come a little bit more down at the moment, so what? Just bloody buy, buy these things. Because with Bitcoin making massive moves, even though we're having a bit of a pull down here on the monthly, like let us just hover here, even if it's for like another two months. However, in saying that, with the potential of the ETF, okay, please remember that I did show you this shoulder head and shoulder pattern that was forming. We're busy busting right back up out of that. We're undoubtedly going to pull back up here. We're going to convert the ribbon back up to the upside and we will see a major continuation of the pattern. With Ethereum's potential ETF being launched over the course of this week, according to Bloomberg analyst Eric Balchunas, you can see here that the buying has accumulated on this down sloping falling wedge pattern okay we might be under the ribbon but this is a great accumulation point on the support level with a head a, sh a shoulder a head and a shoulder pattern also formed on ethereum with a massive breakout target of all the way up to here of about 4800 to its previous all-time high once we get there we hover a little bit and then we continue the pattern upwards with Bitcoin dominance collapsing once again, we can see that right now we are struggling to break this high over here, which is okay because it's allowing us with the total two to find some stability with a head and shoulder pattern two. The total three is the exact same thing. And right now, all we are seeing in this beautiful move, we have not yet broken this low over here. We are literally finding a strong bounce and support level here, getting ready to kind of push and make our way back up to the upside. Now, we are coming up to the six month area where we hover around here before we break up for the last 300 days of the bull cycle. That's exactly what's happening at this point. So even if we fiddle around right up until November, this, the 3rd of November, November 2024, and we just chill here. This is your best, most valuable time to accumulate crypto. I cannot describe it more than anything to you. With oil looking to come back up to this resistance level, which it's already reached, it's struggling here. If oil continues to push back down, we will see everything else in the world. Gold, um, risk on assets absolutely explode into the market. So make sure you are here with me trading you can see there that i've d drawn this down sloping wedge on the four hourly time frame we're holding this wedge pattern quite strong and we've bottomed out here with a, a higher low essentially over here yes we've got a little bit of an m pattern but that's okay don't be so stressed about these things at the moment as long as we continue to hold this little upward sloping trend i believe you know and you can see I draw patterns as the chart goes along. So we can see what it is that we've drawn, how it unfolded and what happens to it. So let's go and see what happens there. But honestly, this is a great place to get in a, into a trade. And honestly, I would keep a tighter stop loss down here at the 56K, but that doesn't mean we can't come down to this level here. So my stop loss, I'll watch this. If we break the zone here, I will move my stop loss and I will add all of my liquidity down here at this position because that's where my buy entry is okay so for me bitcoin continues to go up so make sure to subscribe to the channel thank you for being here with me on the crypto bliss channel and i truly appreciate you we will see you on the next one you bless yourselves take care have yourself a lovely day with your families